In this video, we're going to go ahead and jump back into Unreal, and we're going to see how to import the object that we just exported from Maya using the FBX format. So let's open up the content browser. Now, um, you can go ahead and choose where you want to import something into. It's probably best to import things into organized folders and stuff once you have a lot of stuff imported. It can, uh, you can pretty much get lost with all these assets. So I'll just right click and then click on import to game, which is my UE4 Cube Master FBX file. I'll get a prompt window that opens up and it's going to ask me a few things. I want to make sure in this case static mesh is turned on because I'm importing the static mesh. Then I'm going to expand the advanced options. And in the advanced options, I can choose to import the LODs or the LODs, which uh, I actually set up in Maya, so it's very important to check that on. I also want to make sure that I check on import materials and import textures, because I want both of those things to get imported into Unreal all in one shot. I also have an option here for LOD group, and this is, for example, if you want to place uh, this object in a lot group that's a little bit more aggressive in terms of optimization in case you're doing something for like Android or iOS or something like that I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this for now and just leave it set to none okay so looks good I'm gonna click on import unreal does its thing and there it goes everything got imported into this location I've got my normal map my two textures my two materials that I had set up in Maya and there's the static mesh itself pretty cool so if we double click on one of these materials you can see the material came over perfectly and it also came over with the respective textures the textures I had plugged in to Maya in an earlier video so right now it looks like there's not much in here but this stuff is just stacked on top of each other so you just have to grab it and kind of uh, untangle this mess of nodes over here and as I spread them out you can see that there's my texture my diffuse map and it's plugged into the base color and it automatically has a texture coordinate node plugged into it and that's the node that I can use to change my tiling so if you remember in Maya earlier I had set the tiling to 4 and 4 for the U and V I can go ahead and set that now for both my diffuse texture which is plugged into base color and my normal map which is plugged into the normal of the material and I can see here's my second material now in this case you'll notice that the normal map didn't actually come through it only brought in the diffuse map for the second material now quirky things like this can happen when you're working in a mixed pipeline environment sometimes things don't work out perfectly um, it brought in the material brought it in with the correct name and everything but it missed the normal map but that's okay We'll just jump into the material editor and bring in the normal map and plug it in ourselves, which is fine. It only takes a few seconds to do this anyway. Make a copy of this texture coordinate node, which is already set up. Plug it into the UVs uh, input for the normal map, and there we go. Click on apply, and we're good to go. I'll go ahead and close that. So I'll go ahead and open up the uh, static mesh which is this little cube over here probably should have scaled it up before I imported it over but that's fine there's a lot of back and forth that goes with game development so nothing ever gets done once and then you move on there's a lot of iteration there's a lot of bug fixing there's a lot of fixing human error things like that so here's my object I can navigate this viewport very much like the regular Unreal Editor viewport so I can hold down alt use the left mouse button to orbit around this object I can also view it in wireframe mode so I can see what the uh, what the triangulation looks like and all that stuff I can also look at the triangle count the vertex count as I zoom or, or move away from the object you can see that the LODs are actually kicking in and over here on the right I have a little drop down menu and I could actually cycle through all different LODs the base mesh the medium mesh and the very low res mesh that you see from far away. If you set it to auto LOD, it's going to automatically switch between the LODs based on the distance of the camera to the object. 
And over here on the right, we have the details panel, so I can see all the materials that are applied to the object. I can also click on this collision button and check the collision. If I go to wireframe, you can clearly see there's the collision, which is that cube that I created in Maya and I imported with the object. So pretty cool. That's pretty much all there is to it uh, when importing static meshes into Unreal.